Evolution of Epicureanism Epicureanism arose at a time when the Greek world was in decline. People had lost faith in their society and its institutions. They were insecure and had a no assured means of living. They lived in constant danger of violence from invaders or from local tribes. Active public service in politics, government and army became nearly impossible. In the environment of uncertainty, people withdrew into their private personal life. Epicureanism is a res- recipe for individual happiness in a troubled world. Epicureanism is hardly a philosophy suited to energetic, dynamic and self-confident societies of individuals. It advises men to seek peace and quiet and to detach themselves from the problems of the world. It argues men to be prudent even in pursuing happiness. Essentially, it encourages men to avoid the troubles and travails of life. It hinders an active political, economic and social life. It discourages men from optimistically planning for the future welfare of their family and society. But no man can improve himself or others without necessary effort and commitment. In the process, he will often encounter problems and troubles. However, these hurdles have to be crossed. Fortunately, men are by nature hopeful. Hope springs eternal in human heart. The religious instinct and fear of extension are strong in men. Epicureanism was a creed which appealed to a small group of philosophers and men of letters. It did not uh, percolate to the masses. Historically, Epicureanism was overtaken by Roman ideas of duty and heroic virtue. Further, Christianity preached the ethic of uh, Strana's work and gave hope of uh, posthumous redemption to men. Summary of Epicurean Philosophy After Aristotle, ancient Greek philosopher lost its originality and vigor. In this period, philosophy is mainly concerned with helping the individual in escaping from the trials of life. Philosophers became obsessed with ethical questions. This approach narrowed their thought. The post-Aristotelian philosophers subordinated other branches of knowledge, such as physics, metaphysics, and logic to ethics. Epicureanism and Stoicism were the two great schools of moral philosophy that followed Aristotelian philosophy. Epicurus regarded pursuit of happiness as the chief aim of life. Epicurus identifies popular religion and superstitions as the chief obstacles to human happiness. Democritus' materialist doctrine of autumns enables Epicurus to dispense with both joys of paradise and terrors of hell. He pictures gods as a leading and immortal, serene and blessed life in the outer space. They live in a state of um, beautific joy and never concern themselves with human affairs. Men need not fear gods. Epicureans adopted a pure and noble conceptions of happiness. In this sense, happiness is an end by itself and it is the only good. Pain is the only evil. Mental pleasures are superior to physical pleasures. Men should condition their mind to minds to rise above physical pain and adversity. Epicureanism sought absence of pain, mental serenity, and calm spirit uncontrolled by fears and anxieties. Epicureanism is a recipe for individual happiness in a troubled world. Epicureanism is hardly a philosophy suited to energetic, dynamic, and self-confident societies or individuals. Epicureanism was overtaken by Roman ideas of duty and heroic virtue. Further, Christianity preached the ethic of Stenard's work and gave hope of posthumous redemption to men. Thank you.